Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm very excited because I got a new tool. New tool that's gonna solve some problems. Ha, let's find out what it is. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, here we are. This is my brand new tool, the latest and greatest. Yes. Guys, this is the Milwaukee M18 cordless inflator. And I didn't honestly know this product existed until I went ahead and seen a Project Farm video. If you guys don't know who Project Farm is, they're a video that it's a channel that goes through and it tests all different products to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. Well, one of the things that they found out is that the Milwaukee system is one of the most uh, reliable and, and the quickest inflators on the market. And I thought, you know something, I've got plenty of Milwaukee batteries. I actually could really use this product because um, currently whenever I need something inflated, I usually go to the gas station. I don't have space for a giant air compressor here in my garage. I've had several and it just seems like I always sell them off because they're A, too loud, or B, they just take up a lot of space. So guys, that is why when I seen this item on Project Farm, I decided this is exactly what I need for this kind of environment because I usually use a tool like this remotely, either to do regular preventive maintenance on my vehicles, which I do. You know, I like in the winter time to make sure that my tires are topped off. In the summertime, I like making sure that when I'm going to be driving all those extra miles that before every trip, every single one of my tires is inspected and exactly where I want it to be. So this, this just completely makes sense to have in my inventory. And wow, I like it. I already like it. I don't even have to see anything else. So right off the bat, um, it is obviously the Milwaukee Red. It's got rubber over molding right here under the handle. And as soon as I grabbed it, I thought, wow, that's, that's actually kind of comfortable. And I was really surprised when I grabbed a hold of it. It seemed really nice, really nice. Um, so right here is obviously the battery swap for the M18 battery. You can fit a rather large battery in here. I'm only using a uh, 5.0 amp hour battery. It's fully charged, thank goodness. In the top, uh, we have a digital display where you can set your uh, desired pressure and you can make it do some other funky things. You can even change your units of pressure. Very cool. On the back, it's got onboard storage. So the hose wraps around the back of the casing and in here you've got uh, an adapter, you've got a uh, nozzle inflator and you've got a needle inflator. Very cool. And let's take a look right here. Let's see. Oh yeah. So the nozzle inflator, this is for uh, some of the more expensive bicycles. Um, screws in and you're in business. So we have a uh, brass component. So it's brass to brass fitting, that's very nice. Um, the hose is what, uh, about three, three and a half feet long? More than enough for what I'm gonna do, that's for sure. Um, because since it's battery powered, I can place this right next to my vehicle when I do my um, pressure checks on my tires. That's very cool. I love that it's got this onboard storage because these components always booger off. Now, whether it's a needle inflator for your balls, those things always just booger off. Um, I do have a couple different types of bicycles, so I like that I can just swap the adapter and I'm up and running or not. It's got uh, rubber standoff feet, and these are really interesting feet because they're not, they're not standard like you would expect. What these are, are they are designed to absorb the vibration and prevent this device from walking off on you. Some of the other air compressors on the market, when they're vibrating, you'll see them migrate around, you know? And that's because the vibrations create a disconnect between the ground. So what they did is they put a really soft durometer rubber on the bottom of this guy, and they added extra long fingerlings on the bottom so that it can just vibrate back and forth instead of moving on you. We're gonna try that out. So let's go ahead and let's boot it up with my M18 battery. Wow, you can definitely put a larger battery in there. They do have extension hoses, so that you can make this even longer. Let's go ahead and boot it up. 
All right. So let's see. We got, oh, we got memory. So I can set the memory. <laughs> oh my gosh. This whole thing you can feel when you press the button. So this is demand pressure. So if I'm doing something where I want to feel the pressure, some bicycles, I don't like setting the pressure. I got a fat tire bicycle. And uh, because it's, it's a really low pressure that's in that extra fat tire, I'm going to manually inflate it, which means you push it. Yeah. I can tell by the RPM of the motor that this guy is indeed a very fast, fast inflator. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. That's going to work out to be an absolute treat. Um, so you do set the pressure. Higher, lower. Let's see. Can I go down lower than 10? Oh, no. Okay. Well, for my next demonstration, I was going to do it on a bicycle tire, but it seems like it starts at 10 PSI. And unfortunately, I think that's going to um, explode a lot of bike tires. So let me go ahead and check it out on a bike, and then we'll see. Uh, more than likely, because you're only going to be using a little bit of pressure, because this is an extremely efficient compressor. Uh, so... You're, you're going to be uh, just hitting it and setting it manually. So if you set it on zero PSI, it's a momentary switch. And if you set it, the pressure, and then you hit go. It's going to keep running until it meets that pressure, and then it's going to automatically shut off. Very handy for cars, let me tell you. And I guess let's go ahead and see it in action. I've got a couple bikes that I'm going to try and inflate it. Seems to be very efficient because the amount of air it's kicking out versus, you know, the, the drain on the motor. This is only a five amp hour battery, but that doesn't uh, mean that, you know, it's still not a lot of current draw. It's, it's probably a hefty load. Let's go ahead and test it out on a bike and let's see how fast I can inflate some tires on a bike. Okay, guys, I have it currently set at zero PSI. I'm going to go ahead and screw on the brass fitting to my valve. I like the knurl. It's, it's super easy to hook up, <clears throat> and it says I am currently at 6 to 6.5 PSI. Really? It thinks I'm that high? Tell you what. Let's see what happens when we set it at 10 PSI, right? And go. <laughs> Did that work? Oh my gosh, that's definitely efficient. Um, I think it hit pressure way faster than this device thought it was going to. I am at 30.5 PSI. Is there really that much pressure in normal bike tires? Hmm. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Let's go. It says I'm at target. I'm definitely not at target. So let's set it for 20. Does it release pressure? No, it does not, unfortunately. All right. Well, I set it for 30. Oh, my gosh. All right. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's try the front tire. Definitely, both these tires are a little bit squishy. Uh, it's been super hot here in Texas. And because it's been super hot in Texas, my bikes have not been outside the garage very much. Okay. So, we have it currently at 20 PSI. Let's go. Okay, that time it worked an absolute treat. Well, it did overshoot. I think it's because the amount of pressure versus it has to run a certain number of seconds and then it stops and it, it samples it. And I think what it's doing is it's such an efficient compressor. It's overfilling the tire before it gets to the certain number of seconds and it samples. And that's why it's shooting over pressure. Like this front tire, I'm currently set at 35 PSI, I think. So the good thing is, all I got to do is loosen up the valve just a little bit. Yeah, that's more like it. About 25 PSI. Perfect. And back. Back is pretty good. That was way faster than what I was expecting. So guys, that's the beauty of this device is that it's super portable and any type of device that solves a problem is a device that I get behind and I support because 
I want to be able to sample my tires on my cars way more often. I check my tire pressure pretty consistently, but I normally go to gas stations and that's inconvenient. I like the fact that before I go on road trips and stuff, while my family's packing and taking their sweet time to get on the road, I can be outside doing some minimal preventive maintenance on the vehicle to make sure that everything's topped off and good to go. And the same thing for business trips. Like if I know that tomorrow I've got a flight, which I do, uh, I'm flying out to Colorado for the cab met. If I got a flight tomorrow, then I would like to be able to check my tire pressure before I go because I don't like being late to my flights. So guys, that's the Milwaukee portable M18 battery powered tire inflator. It works an absolute treat. It's way faster than what I was expecting. Um, so normally from now on, when I'm gonna inflate bike tires, I'm gonna set it on zero PSI and man manually press the inflation button. So it's just, it's way too fast for these little tiny bike tires. And uh, that's a good thing because that means it's gonna be faster for your car tires. Anyway guys, I'll leave a link in the video description to the M18 battery powered tire inflator because it's the cheapest price that I can find is on Amazon and you can check it out there. Thanks for watching guys.